A dangerous stretch of road, the focus of discussion in Denton today at issue Hickory Creek Road, just south of the city limits, particularly the stretch south of FM 1830 that winds right along the actual creek. And this was the site of a deadly crash that killed two young brothers last month. Matt Uris, live for us from City Hall tonight with the plan of action that has been approved as of today. Matt? Thanks, Doug. It was just more than an hour ago that City Council here behind me approved more than $3 million to design a new road to helpfully get at this safety issue. They say they hope it's a small piece of a much larger project. Tragedy has prompted immediate action. Three lives lost in less than two years, including two brothers in January. Diego and Daniel Rivera were found dead inside a car submerged in Hickory Creek. We had someone else lose their life last year, which really brought the issue of accelerating a, some kind of solution to the forefront. The plan has a temporary and long term solution. For the next 30 days or so, Hickory Road is closed. Crews are striping the road, putting in reflectors, signage, and ultimately a guardrail. It's all meant to protect drivers and passengers from the winding conditions. Long term fix would to take the bends completely out of the roadway and go straight. That means we're going to construct potentially two very long bridges, about 3,000 feet of bridge, to get over the creek, the floodplain itself and then tie it back into 1830 on the west side. Today, City Council approved $3.3 million for engineers to begin designing a new stretch of roads, specifically from 2181 to River Pass. Ultimately, the hope is it will meet the two bridges and extend to I-35. What I could say to the community is, we've always been listening to the concerns. Here, we've had a couple of horrific accidents, and it just was time that we needed to find a way to work together with the county and the city According to the city engineer, this long-term solution won't be wrapped up until 2022 or 2023 and snags along the way are possible. It's going to come with a price tag of upwards of $40 million. Live in Denton, Matt Uris, CBS 11 News.